If you know what you're doing, you can get this thing done in less than two hours. Welcome back to No Man's Sky, everyone. Jason here, and today I'm going to show you the fastest way to finish this expedition, the Polestar Expedition. Now, if you don't know how to start the expedition, don't worry, I got you covered. Go all the way down here to a new game. You need to start a fresh new game. And then you'll notice over here on the right side, it says time remaining nine days. By the time you watch this, it'll be eight days. So you have a little bit, basically a week. You'll have one week when you start seeing this from the day I record this to finish your expedition. So if you want to get it done quickly, this is the video you want to watch. There are some things in this. Um, there's a couple of milestones that you don't have to do. I should say one milestone you do not have to do. The other one, you're going to have to wait 24 hours. There's a time limit or t uh, timer on it. You're going to have to wait 24 hours. So you're going to have to play the game, get as far as you can, then come back tomorrow. You have to wait 24 hours real lifetime before you can get into it. But first things first, let's initialize the expedition. I love this intro, you guys. I love it. Welcome home, Captain. So that's officially you can start moving. First thing you want to do is come over here to the commander. And you're going to have to talk to him a few times during this expedition. And you need to get the ship's logs. Now, I'm not going to go through the details on this. If you want to see the details, watch my guide, my overall walkthrough. This is more of like a speed run kind of thing. This is just to get it done if you need to get this thing done quickly as po as quickly as possible. So once you've done that, go over into your expedition tab, push your pause menu, go to your expedition tab and accept the reward right here because we're going to need some of these uh, items in order to proceed. So you can upgrade your ship. You, you know, I'm not going to, I'm going to use that for money, but you can upgrade your ship if you want to. But once you've collected those items, now what we need to do is we need to fix the atmospheric control unit. And look at that. We have all the materials we need because we accepted the rewards for that last milestone. So let's pop that in there. Make that in there. And then for your uh, damaged uh, atmosphere control right here is your chromatic metal. Instead of using the chromatic metal, what I do is I apply a repair kit. That is X on Xbox or Square on PlayStation. And instead of using the materials that will use a repair unit to do that, we had one, so we're good to go. So that is done. Pick it up and move it into the technology tab. That way you have more space in your general tab. So that should be done right there. Okay, so we're done with that. Two milestones down. Now you don't have to accept all the rewards. I would highly suggest you do. Once you finish something, accept it. That way you get all the materials because a lot of the stuff you're going to need later on anyway. So accept all of those uh, rewards you get. So now that we have that, now you see we have two more repair kits right here. So if you want to, you could fix your warp, your freighter hyperdrive if you want to. Or you could fix your matter beam. I would highly suggest doing this one as well because it helps you teleport items to your freighter. We're not going to do that yet because it takes some materials that we're going to need later on. But let's go into our ship. Now, the other thing you want to do is all this extra stuff, you can use it. What I would suggest is put it or sell it to the space station. So we're going to pick it up and move it to our starship. You can also just press Y or triangle if you're on PlayStation and it'll ask you where you want to put it and just put it in your starship right there. Boom. I'm going to sell all of that. You know, I'm going to sell those materials. The other thing you could do is get rid of your save point. You don't need it. If you want to keep it, sure, but move it out of your uh, general inventory. That way you have some space in there. 
Now we're good, right? We're all good to go. So let's go to a planet. That is the next milestone you have to do. Now, what I would suggest is there's a planet in the first system called Howlyun, whatever that's called. It has ancient bones on it. Let's go fly there because we're going to need to make some money because one of our later milestones is to buy a whole bunch of frigates for your uh, system, for your freighter. Those are basically the smaller ships, the attack ships that are next to your freighter. We're going to need to buy a whole bunch of those and you're going to need a ton of money to do that. I always try to get that done early. That way you don't have to worry about it later on. And what I'm doing right now is I am moving all of my technology, my upgrades into my technology tab. That way they're out of the way. This, you cannot put anything in there. So like if I wanted to, like all the tritium, I could put it in my general, look at that. But if I try to put it in my technology, you cannot put it. You can only put technology into your technology slots. That's why I'm moving all these technology upgrades into these slots. That way you can free up more space. We can put that over here. There we go. So let's go look for some bones on this planet. And again, if you go into your expedition tab, you can kind of go through and look at all of them that you want to see. Like, hey, this one is to reach the second rendezvous. But then you have this one right here. Discover 20 plants. You have one for plants. You have one for animals and you have one for rocks. You got to scan all of those things. And it doesn't you don't have to do it on one planet. It is a total number. So when I look down here, it says discover 20 total plants. So if I discover like five plants on this planet and two plants on another one and then another 10 on a different planet, it's 20 total. So just scan as much as you can as early as you can because you get some good rewards for doing that, you guys. So I would suggest you have to come down here and land on the planet anyway. We're going to be looking for buried bones. And so while you're doing all of that, Dig up, you know, scan some plants, scan some rocks, scan some animals, and be good to go. Now, before we land, what we want to do is you go really low and slow. You're looking for those blue crystals. We need to get some materials. And if you're in your ship, you can use your, your uh, actual gun, your weapon on your ship, and you can pick up a whole bunch of materials. Look at that. I'm picking up everything because I'm destroying these rocks. I'm destroying the plants. I'm destroying all of that stuff. So... You want to use this to your advantage. You can clean up a whole bunch of materials just by doing like little flybys and getting all the materials there. But we're looking for blue crystals. Oh, red crystals are good too. You want to get those. Now you won't be able to destroy the big one, but you'll be able to destroy the smaller ones. You're good on that. There we go. Blue crystals right there. Done and done. Get all those. Now let's land and get this done with. We got a whole bunch of materials now. Look at all that materials I just picked up. Whole bunch of carbon, whole bunch of ferrite dust. We are good to go. Now we're going to need a whole bunch of dihydrogen. So keep your eye out for those blue crystals. So what we need to do is make one dihydrogen right now and two of these carbon nanotubes. Now, once we do that, go to your multi-tool. You need to make a terrain manipulator. And that's why we made our two carbon nanotubes and one dihydrogen jelly. Because you can use this to dig up the bones. You're going to need that. So we need to make that now. That's why we did flybys and we were destroying all kinds of stuff. Now, again, like I said, scan all the plants you can. Scan all the animals you can. Everything you can think of. Scan it right now because we're going to land here anyway. And the other thing we're looking for is, look at right there, a yellow marker. These yellow markers are burial sites. These are bones, where the bones are. They're randomly spread out throughout the planet. So no matter where you land, you're probably going to be close to some kind of a burial site. And they are randomized. So sometimes you'll get really good expensive bones out of there. Sometimes they'll be really cheap, but they're free money. So go through, collect as many bones as you can and get that thing done. You want to make all your money now as much as you can anyway. So let's scan all this stuff and let me go get these bones. All right, I'm coming up on the bones here. And again, they're underground. That's why we made our terrain manipulator. So let's pull that out and dig up the bones. Now, keep in mind, you can kind of tell how expensive or how rare they're going to be just by looking at it. So let me show you what I mean by that. These round ones right here, you see how it's just like a round, almost like a circular bone. This is going to be a very low quality bone. So you see it's a blue one. If I go into my inventory, you'll see 
It's worth 68,000. Again, not bad. It's free money, so take it. But what you're looking for are bones that are different than the round ones. Like that was a round one there. There's another round one over here. So all these are going to be kind of lower quality, lower tier bones. There's another round one. Most of the time you're running into those. Those are like the generic bones. We have another couple of low quality ones right here. Okay, so this is what you're looking for. Look at this. Notice how this one is bigger and it's more spread out. It looks like it's a, like a big chunk. These are going to be a good quality bone. Look at that. It's a purple. So this is a more rare one. And again, look at that. 373,000 versus like the 100,000. So you're getting three times the value. So you want to look for those ones. Oh, we got another one right here. Another purple one. You want the purple. I mean, technically you want ones that are yellow. So we got a couple purple bones out of there. We got a whole bunch of blues that are kind of, you know, low end. But we got a couple purples. That's really good. And I mean, again, make sure you're walking around. You're scanning everything. Rocks, plants, animals, everything. And the bigger thing that most people don't know about, when you're scanning stuff, specifically the uh, plants, all of your oxygen, all of your, uh, like these oxygen plants, they count as plants. So scan these red ones, scan the yellow ones, scan the blue ones. They're on every single planet and you can scan them and it counts towards your counting, your timer or your, uh, your total plant count. So definitely scan those things. Take advantage of that. Get all the plants you can. So let's look for some more bones. I need to get a whole bunch of bones and scan rocks, of course. I'm not seeing any more bones around here. If you don't see any more bones, it's fine. Just go to a different area because sometimes they're really spread out. Sometimes you just got to go like 50 feet or 100 feet some direction and you'll see another one pop up. The other thing you want to do is red crystals, the uh, condensed carbon. You're going to need this later on. So grab it while you can as well. If you're running around the planet. This is going to be our collecting planet. We're going to get a whole bunch of stuff we're going to need later on. So you're going to spend a little time here, but spending time here will help you later on. So definitely do that. And these blue crystals, of course. All right, let's go see if we can get some more bones. Nope. And the other thing I want to tell you as well, not only the oxygen, like the red and the yellow plants, these guys that attack you, these hazardous fl uh, flora, the hazardous plants, they count as plants as well. So that's another plant on the list right there. So definitely scan everything. Scan it all. And those animals as well. Let's keep going. Gonna find some more bones. Holy cow. Look at all this. Look at all these bones just chilling out over here. I like this. All right, let's dig these out. Again, you can get as many or as few as you want, depending on how fast you want to go. Oh, this is going to be a really good bone. You see how big this thing is? That big bone is going to be really worth it. It's going to be a yellow one probably, but we don't know for sure. So again, yellow or these small round ones are going to be the cheap ones. They're the blue ones. Let's go over here. I'm going to save that big one for last. There's another cheap one, your round one. So you'll see it'll be a blue. There's a blue one. This one's probably going to be a yellow. Let's see. Yes, a yellow one. So these are worth the most. So you want to find the yellow ones. But again, they are randomized. You, there's no guarantee. There's no way to find a yellow one, like, guaranteed. I mean, other than just going through and picking up a whole bunch of different bones and randomly you'll run into a good one. Oh, here's another. Oh my god, is this another one? Dude! And we have two purples? Oh my god, we are we are set for money now. Okay, so we're gonna get a whole bunch of money out of this. I love it. There's another one! Oh my god! We have two yellows and two pur Are you joking? Look at all the purples and yellows we got. 1.7 million on that one. One point or one million on that one. Guys, that is what you want. You want a whole bunch of purples and uh, yellows. Holy crap. I can't even talk. I've never run into a whole bunch of the high quality bones like that. This is high quality bone central. All right. Now, I mean, again, so look at, see, we have a burial site over there. We have a burial site over there. Get as much money as you can in this early part. Just dig up a whole bunch of bones. It might take you a little bit of time now, but it'll pay off later on. I guarantee it because then you don't have to worry about money later on. This is freaking amazing. All right, we got some more, but I'm out of room. So I called in my ship right here. So I called in my ship. So that way I can put some of the stuff away. 
Speaking of that, though, we need to organize this a little bit better. So there we go. There we go. So we get some room in here. All right. So we'll take the pure for right now. We're going to put our bones in our ship. That way we can make room in our inventory to get some more bones. Got to get all the bones we can. There we go. Now we got plenty of room. So let's pick up some more. Hopefully we get some good ones in here as well. And again, randomized. You don't know. Most of the time you'll get the cheap ones like this one. The small round ones. Those are the blues. Those are okay. I mean, every, uh, you know, every penny counts. So I'm not going to yell. I'm not going to be mad about it. But, you know, I'd rather get a good one. Like this one right here. Is another good one right here. Yellow or purple. I'll take the purple. There's a blue. There's a blue. And there's some more yellow or not yellow. Uh, more uh, low quality bones over here. Okay. So that was a lot of low quality with one purple. I'll take the purple. That's going to be a good amount of money. But now we're good. I think we've scanned everything we can scan. We also, we got as much as we can for like, you know, rocks, animals, plants, and a ton of bones. So now we need to go to the space station, sell the stuff, and buy some materials. So let's head to the space station. I can show you guys what you're going to need to get to continue on. All right. We made it to... The space station. Very, very awesome. Now we're going to go sell all those bones we just got. And some other items I picked up along the way. I like how I'm a purple guy. I wish I was a purple gek, though. All right. Go to the kiosk. Go to sell. I picked up a storm crystal. I could sell that. Some people want to keep it for later on. There is a... Uh, a milestone at the end of the expedition you might need a, a storm crystal for. You can keep it. I'm going to show you a way you don't need to keep a storm crystal, though. So you don't need it, but if you want to keep it as insurance, to totally understand. Do it. And sell all our bones. We're also going to sell that salvage data. You're not going to need to make any base parts or anything like that, so sell that make money. And we got a whole bunch of bones. Okay. And then we have a whole bunch of bones in our starship. So let's do that. There we go. And then I got a whole bunch of my like salvage frigate module, cargo bulkhead, starship augmentation. You can totally sell these to make money if you want to. You don't absolutely need it. They do make your game a little bit easier. So depending on if you want it easier later on, or if you want to just make some money early, that way we can buy our frigates. Doesn't matter. I'm going to sell mine. There you go. So now what we need to do is we need to buy six wiring loom. So we need to spend 320000 on that. We're also going to buy all our life support shells. So let's do that. We're going to buy all the ferrite dust, all the cobalt they'll sell you, all the oxygen, all the sodium. We're going to buy two magnetic resonators because we're going to need that pretty soon here. We're also going to need to buy all the batteries. I always buy the batteries and the uh, life support shells because you can use that instead of materials. It's always way more efficient. And the other thing I would always recommend is buy uranium. You can use this as launch fuel. I always buy all the uranium in here. So good to go on all that. So now we are set. We made all our room. We got all, all of our materials. Let's go back to our freighter. And you can use the teleporter right here. To go back to your freighter, your freighter is going to be the green icon always at the top left of your teleporter right there. So this is going to be my freighter. Boom. And it's always really, really fast load. Like, I'm not even going to fast forward that. Look at that. Boom. Very fast load. And so now, now that we've gotten all that uh, taken care of, we need to accept our reward for the planet side, the landing on a planet. You need to accept this because it gives you the blueprints for the refiner room. We're going to need to make one of those. So that's for a future milestone right now, actually. But you can't make the refiner room unless you've done that. So you need to land on the planet, accept the reward, and then you're good to go. And we need two dihydrogen jellies. There we go. So now we are set. So now what we can do, I like to organize my freighter. So we're going to go to our build menu. And I just delete all the stuff I don't need. Like, I don't need the outside stuff. I don't need that door. All right, we're good. Now, in your freighter menus, you can go over here to this third one right here. 
That's where your, your refinery room is going to be. And remember, you need silver. We already had that. Dihydrogen jelly. Those are the blue crystals we just got. And gold. We already had that. So now we can make our freighter or our refiner room. Milestone done. We are just knocking them out, you guys. Just knocking them out. And then we need to accept that because it gives you storage room plans. And we need to make a storage room again. All these... um different milestones they will give you a reward for another milestone so you want to accept all the rewards so let's make a storage room we need silver and sodium that's why we bought all that sodium earlier make that there you go another one knocked down easy peasy let's accept that reward this one will give you the salvage frigate modules and an interstellar scanner that's what we need an interstellar scanner and look at that we have the chromatic metal, we have the wiring loom, but we need magnetized ferrite. So let's do the magnetized ferrite. What we can do, what I usually do is, I will make a backpack refiner. So let's install technology. X if you're on Xbox, square if you're on PlayStation. And we're going right here, personal refiner. You need oxygen and chromatic metal. We got both of those, we're good to go. So we make that. Now we have a refiner in our backpack, which is awesome. And what we can do is we can just refine this ferrite dust. No, no, excuse me. If you have pure ferrite, you can use that. But we have ferrite dust as well. So what, I, what I'm going to show you is from the beginning. So let's go into here. We need to put fuel in here, of course. And if you have uh, ferrite dust, you can just pop that in there and it'll turn into pure ferrite. You're going to need to do that. But if you have a lot of pure ferrite, you're good to go on this. So let's do this instead. Let's take my pure ferrite, put that in there right there and now we're going to refine the pure ferrite into magnetized ferrite that's what we need to get all right so that's what we need and specifically we are going to need where is it at da, da, da. oh yeah sorry it's actually a blueprint for your uh your freighter so go into your uh, menus your your inventory menu we want to install it in our technology install that and we need to have Chromatic metal, wiring loom, and our magnetized ferrite. Now, I don't have the magnetized ferrite, but it let me load it in. And so if it's not built all the way, it'll be it'll blink blue. That's fine. It tells you, hey, you, had, you didn't finish it. You need more to finish this. And all we have to do is go back into our uh, refiner, pull out the magnetized ferrite we just made, go back over to our freighter, and finish it off. We need 70 magnetized ferrite. Let's finish it. Done and done. So that's another milestone finished. Look at that. We are knocking them out. Seriously, you guys. We're knocking them all out. So that's almost all of uh, phase one done. Super quick. Super easy. Now, the next thing we're going to have to do is we need to warp to a new system, but our warp drive is, fit, is uh, broken. We need to fix this thing. So let's get in here. We need the antimatter. We got that. We need to make two of these antimatter housings. We can totally do that in here. So we have to craft it. It's going to be one of the recipes you already have unlocked. You need 30 oxygen and ferrite dust, 50 ferrite dust. We have both of those, so we need two. Let's finish that. And we need some chromatic metal. Now, I don't like using chromatic metal, so instead, I'm going to use the repair kit for that. Anytime chromatic metal pops up, I try to skip it by using a repair kit. So yeah, now our warp drive is full or it's, it's fixed, but we don't have any fuel in it. So I would say get your one warp cell. That's a reward you get and pop it in there. Done. The other thing we need to fix is our matter beam. So let's get in here. Now we, we bought those two magnetic resonators. So of course you use that. We also have our wiring loom. Remember, we bought a whole bunch of it. So let's do that. And then we need this, but I don't want to make any of that. So I'll just use a repair kit on the antimatter you can make it if you want to i'm just being cheap i have repair kits why not use them right so now the matter beam is done awesome and we also have these upgrades we can install into our suit so i'm going to install some of them movement module of course you want to be able to move more right put these all down here i like to organize my stuff and the other thing is you want to turn this regular cobalt we bought into ionized cobalt so put that in your refiner It'll refine from regular cobalt into ionized cobalt. So you want to do that as well. You're going to need that later on. We also have a mining beam upgrade and a pulse engine upgrade. You can use these if you want to. 
I like to use them, so I'll put that over there. There you go. I like to organize my stuff. You could do it whatever you want. Whatever you deem necessary, that's what you should do. Salvage frigate module. I'm going to sell that, so I put it on my ship. That way I know where it is. I like to keep things in my ship that I'm going to sell. That way I could just go to my ship inventory and start selling stuff. I don't have to think about it. I know everything in my ship is for sale. All right, done and done. So now we're ready to go. We need to warp to the next system. Now, I would highly recommend following this green line because the next system has a crashed ship that we're going to get to. So go over here to the Tainosh. Tainosh system. Tainosh number 11. It's the next one in your... In your uh, in your way, on your way, along the way. So go to this system. This system has a crashed royal exotic ship. The reason why you want to go for this one particularly is because it is worth a lot. So if you pick it up for free, it costs you nothing to pick it up. And then you can scrap it and make a ton of money off of it. So that's why I would say go to that one. So let's go down there and do it. Let's go get that one. But before we jump into that... Let me show you. We need to get 50. Oh, we have that one. We we need to accept the reward for warping. So we have our warp hypercore plans now. And we got some uh, upgrades as well. We don't need to make those. You can, but you don't need to. We do have an upgrade for our uh, warp drive, though. So let's put that in there. So we just got this. The reason why you would use that is because it makes it more fuel efficient and you can go farther. You want these upgrades. Now we're gonna take it. I know you guys are gonna scream at me. We're gonna take this warp hypercore and we're gonna refill our warp with that, our hyper drive with that. That way we have a full tank. We can go wherever we wanna go. And before we go get that crashed ship, before we do that, we need to get 50 of these meteorites, these asteroids. You need to shoot and explode 50 asteroids. So let's do that real quick. I would always recommend go after the smaller ones because they're easier to blow up. See how quick that was? Go after the smaller ones because you see the bigger ones, they take a few more shots. So if you're trying to do it quickly, go after the small ones. They explode and they all count. E even the small ones count as one asteroid and the big ones count as one asteroid as well. So it doesn't matter which ones you go after. You just need to get 50 of them. So let's do that real quick. There we go. We got our 50 asteroids done. And then the uh, planet you want to go to, where is it at? There it is. It's hidden behind all these asteroids. Right here. Let me scan it and show you what it's called. It is called Kleiniart. Kle uh, Kleinliart. Right there. It's on the screen. I'm never going to be able to pronounce that. But we need to go to this planet over here. So let's go. And as we're going, remember, collect your rewards. So you get all your good rewards. So we got a whole bunch of good stuff here. We can also do that, get rid of some of this. We also, we fixed our teleporter for our freighter. So now we can move all this stuff to our freighter without being inside of it. Definitely a big bonus for that. Dun, dun, dun. I think we're good on all of this. Let me grab the ionized cobalt. We're going to put that in our freighter as well. We're going to need to make some more of it, but we don't need it yet. So we're going to leave that alone for now. So we're organizing some of this stuff. We could sell all of this. That's why we're going to get rid of it. All right. So this is where the hard part starts, you guys. So you see the bottom left-hand side of my screen. There is a unmapped screen right there. So it tells you where your coordinates are. So what we're looking for is we're looking for a negative 6.5 and a negative 124. Right now we're at negative 12 and negative 47. So we need to actually go to negative 6.5 and negative 124. So you move around a little bit, just kind of get your bearings and see where it goes up and down. So what I need to do is I need to go east or west excuse me west we need to go west to go negative 124 right there so let's do that this is going to be a lot of trial and error you guys but ultimately you want to end up at 
negative 6.5 and negative 124. So I'll see you guys when we get there. Okay, we are close, you guys. As you can see from my screen, again, negative 6.5 and negative 124. And you will actually see it on the ground right there. Look at that. This is a crashed ship. Someone made their base there. So there you are. You want to get down in here. And we need to claim this ship right here. Beautiful. So this is our crash ship. Very, very awesome. Very worth it. This thing is an S-Class. It's worth a lot of money. That's why you want to claim this one. That is why you want to claim that one. Oh, yeah. And so now what we need to do is we need to make one hermetic seal and one metal plating. And that way we could fix our pulse engine because the launch thruster is fixed. You don't need to fix anything else other than the launch thruster and the pulse engine. You fix that and now we can fly away. And now we get our reclamation milestone. We've claimed a broken ship, but we need to also, we need to get into it and fly it up to the space station. But first, since we landed here, remember we still are trying to get all of our plants, animals, and rocks. Got to scan a whole bunch of them. So might as well, since we had to land anyway, let's scan some of these animals, plants, and rocks and everything. Get that all done. That way we don't have to worry about it later on. Believe me, they add up after a while, but man, if you try to, if you wait till the end, it feels like forever. You're scanning everything forever. So just do it while we're here. There we go. And I think up, oh, yep, red dots are animals. So you want to scan these animals. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Man, you guys aren't making it easy on me, are you? No. Okay, fine. Whatever. All right. The other thing you want to do is there's a building right over here. It's literally right next to this crash ship. It's about 500 feet south, 500 units south. You'll be able to see it no problem. Get in your ship and you want to fly over there because we need to get one special item from this. This is a settlement. We need to buy one item from a settlement. It is very, very difficult to find. You can find it other places, but since we landed here, we got our crash ship here. Might as well grab this while we're here. So again, pop in here. We're going to go over to this desk because we need an amino chamber for an item later on. So we need to buy this amino chamber right here. Amino chamber. You just need one. So buy one and you're good to go. That's all you need. You don't need to buy anything else here. If you want to, go ahead. I would also highly suggest if there's car, if there's any cobalt here, buy all that cobalt. We could turn it into ionized cobalt as well. You know, so we're good to go on all of that. We can get the magnetized ferrite if you want. Oh, there was ionized cobalt here. I could have just bought that, idiot. All right. Well, I wasn't paying attention. I should have just bought the ionized cobalt. That's what we needed. And we have our magnetized ferrite. We got that as well. So we're good to go on that. We don't need the cobalt, but I'll refine it anyway. We have the amino chamber, though. Pop that into our freighter. And now let's take our crashed ship to the space station because we need to scrap this thing. So let's fly over to the space station. And by the way, guys, the other thing to keep in mind is you need room to get all the scrap pieces from your ship. So make sure your inventory is not packed full of stuff. I purposely have not accepted some of my rewards because I want to make sure I have enough room to scrap the ship. Because when you scrap it, it will give you pieces. And if you don't have any room in your inventory, it'll say, sorry, you don't have enough room. Try again later. There we go. Look at that. 4.2 million units for that. I love it. Let's pop that. And so we got a whole bunch of stuff now. Look at all this stuff in our inventory. And again, you can sell it if you want to, if you need to. And that's what we're here to do, right? So first things first, if you have any upgrades, anything you're not really going to sell, you're like, hey, look, I don't need this. Maybe later on, but not right now. Let's go to purchase. But instead of buying, we're going to sell. And I don't need a Starship Shield module. We're going to get that for nanites. I don't need this pulse engine. I don't need the hyperdrive. That's for your ship. You don't need that. So we're good to go on all of that. Now we're, let's look at our freighter. I have a pulse engine. I can sell that. So we got to pull it in. That is the one thing you can't sell from your freighter. You can teleport it, but you can't sell for it from it. So we need to sell again. Boom, right there. And now we're going to go sell all... Oh, wait, wait. We could accept some of our rewards. Now that we have room, we could, sell, we could accept these rewards. 
There we go. And then the other one, that was for reclamation. That was for claiming a crashed ship. And then you get recycling. That's for scrapping a ship. You don't have to, you, you do not have to scrap any ship in particular, but I like to scrap the, uh, the one you get, the, the, uh, the exotic, because we could get a lot of money for that one. So look at all this stuff we just got. Holy mackerel. So I want to use that movement module. I want to use the life support, so I'm going to use all those. I don't need the launch thrusters, though, so we can get rid of that. So let's sell the launch thrusters. Again, we're just doing this for nanites because we're going to need about... What is it? I think we need about 12,000 nanites in order to get all of our uh, stuff later on. There's a milestone later on we need. But we need to get some. So if you're not using it, might as well sell it. But if you are going to use it, like if it's useful, keep it. You want to keep it. Now let's sell all of the items that we got. All those spare parts we got, like the thermal panels. We don't need that. Repair kit. We can sell these because we fixed everything. Nothing else is broken. But if you want to keep it for later on, in case you might break something, like, you know, usually materials don't get broken unless you get... If you die in an attack or you go through a black hole. So we're pretty safe on fixing things. We've fixed everything that's broken, so we should be good. The tank of coolant, yes. The starship augmentation, yes. We're going to sell the living glass, the reinforced piping, the sculpted sacrificial gadget. That's a trade thing worth two million. Of course, we're going to sell that. Compressed indium scraps, yes. Handful of cogs, yes. And then we go over to our starship inventory and sell these. Boom, boom. Liquid sun. They give you liquid sun. You don't need it for anything. If you're doing like a living ship thing later on, after you convert this to a normal save, sure, keep it. You don't need it for anything in the expedition, though. You do not need this, so I sell it. You can always get it later on. It's not that hard once you start doing those missions. All right. So now we just made 9 million bucks. We made over that. We made 13 million. So let's accept our reward for that. We're going to get Quicksilver inventory and a terrifying sample. There you go. So we're going to get some exosuit inventory slots. I'm not going to take them. I'm going to sell those because, again, I'm trying to make as much money as possible. But if you want to keep it, you go for it. Exosuit expansion slots. Yes, sell that. And the hopeless remains for $1.3 million. Of course we're going to do that. All right. So now we are set. Everything is good to go. Let's go back to our freighter because we're going to use our freighter as our big teleporting thing. So let's go do that. We're using that as our hyperdrive. We're not using our starship. We're using our uh, our freighter. So let's go back in there. Instead of getting out and flying over and trying to get in there again, just warp there. It's so easy. Way faster. And the load time, again, is so ridiculously fast. That's crazy. Now, this is what I was talking about. You see it right here? It says manage fleet. You need to have three aliens in your squad. So go to manage the squad. You need three of them. So that's this is where the nanites come into play. I only have 4,000. The first one to unlock is 800 nanites right there. But then the price is going to go up. You'll see the next one is 3,500. And the one after that is, thir is 75. So you're going to need about 12,000 nanites in order to unlock all of them. Right now, I can only unlock the first one, which is fine. We'll come back and get that. Don't you worry about it. But now, oh, wait a minute. Do we need to, um, do we need to make anything? Let's see. We just need to... Actually, we're still doing phase one. We need to get to that first rendezvous, guys. So let's warp to that first rendezvous. Make this pretty easy. Because now we have upgrades. We have a full thing. So we're good to go. Let's go right over here. Remember, the rendezvous are going to be where the golden diamond is. Any system that has a golden diamond, that's a rendezvous system. Let's go up here. There you go. Boom. That's the one. So you want to go to those diamond systems. That's where you want to head to. Now, in general, when you go to a different uh, rendezvous system, you want to talk to your commander. But we already talked to him before, so we don't need to do it for this one. The first rendezvous, it is going to be a crashed freighter. We don't have a log for it, so let's just jump in here and go to that first rendezvous. Now, it should be marked as soon as you get out here. Sometimes you got to redo it. So if you don't see this golden marker or 
an icon that says rendezvous number one, all you have to do is go back in your expedition and highlight it again. Once you do that, it should show up. So let's head on over to the first rendezvous. Alrighty, we broke through the surface, so now we're going over here. You're looking for a crashed freighter. That is where the uh, thing is going to be. So right there, boom, right here. This is where the rendezvous is going to be. I always land at the freighter. And also, I don't know why I'm in first person still. Let's go to third person. There we go. Now I can see my terrible shuttle. I love this planet. This planet looks so good. All right. So we got the first rendezvous done. So let's accept that reward. So we'll come over here. Done. We got a whole bunch of nanites if you guys didn't see that. And we got some uh, inventory slots. So let's actually use some. We're going to need some of those anyway. All right, so we got a whole bunch of stuff. Oh, yeah, we have our chromatic metal. We don't need that in there. All right, so now that we have all that set, we need to, again, remember, scan all your animals and plants because we landed here anyway. Make it worth it. Scan everything you can. Get those things knocked off. So I'm going to scan some animals. I'm going to scan some trees and some rocks. Got to scan everything. Get over here. There's going to be a lot of different random uh, plants around here. There's going to be a lot of animals. Look for those red dots. That way you can get that knocked out. Come on. And remember, you can also... I know I say this over and over, but a lot of people don't realize you can scan the uh, dangerous plants. They still count as a plant. So scan those things. You know, the exploders. Scan these guys down here. Boom. The whipping ones. You can scan them all. They all count as different. Look at that. Boom. That's a rock. So I'll scan the rock. We need to get rocks anyway. But let's do that. There we go. This plant right here. There we go. We've already done all of our plants. We are good to go. So what you want to do is you want to accept that reward pretty quickly because it'll give you a scanning upgrade. So there we go. We learned a double uh, double cultivation chamber. But the bigger thing is these scanning module upgrades, these will actually increase the amount of money you get for scanning everything. So let me, let me show you. So we'll, we'll input this on here. Boom. So now that I have that there, I'm going to get more money for scanning uh, plants and animals, minerals and flora. So every time I scan a mineral or a flora, the amount of money I'm going to earn is increased by 7,000% for minerals, rocks, and 6,000% for uh, plants. So I was making 500 per plant. So let's see if I can scan this thing right here. I was making 500. Now I'm making 17,000. Look at that. That's why you want to get those early because now I'm going to start making money just for scanning stuff. Animals, we don't get an increase for the animals, so we're still going to make the same amount. We're still making just 3,000. That's still a lot, but it's only 3,000. Let me make sure I got all the uh, animals around here. We don't need any more plants, but you can scan them and make money, but you don't need it for the milestone. We have that one knocked off. But we need to focus in on our animals and our rocks now, now that we have our plants done. All right, so now we are good. Let's go see what we can do. So what we can do while you're on the ground... Remember, you can call in your freighter by hitting down on the D-pad. Go over here to summon vehicles, and you can summon in your freighter. Look at that. Right there. I can summon it in. That way, I don't have to go out in the space and look for it and do all that kind of stuff. I called it into the planet's surface. Now, it's not very close, but it's closer than it would be normally. So, there you go. Right there. See? I don't have to fly too far away. I'm right here. The only issue I usually run into is that sometimes I crash into my freighter because I'm so excited. Don't crash into it. It might ruin you. So don't do that. <laughs> uh, but now we have a double cultivation chamber that we can make. That is a milestone we have to do. So let's go make a double cultivation chamber. So let's get in here. Do we accept all of our rewards? Let me look, making sure we do that. Oh, wait a minute. When you complete a phase, you also get your phase one, you know, your phase reward. So for phase one, you get a whole bunch of posters. That is for your base. So if you want to get a whole bunch of decorations for your base, there you go. We learned a whole bunch of it for our base. And now we need to make a double cultivation chamber. And this is going to be a, this is a really good trick you guys need to know. So we need fecium. But in order to get fecium, we need to feed. The, basically, it's poop. 
We need animal poop in order to do this, but we don't have any, right? Well, you can make it if you want to. Let's go to the large refiner. Because if you if you do a combination of dihydrogen right in here, and you do a combination of carbon right there, you get fecium. Look at that. Fecium. We need a little bit more dihydrogen, though. I didn't put enough in. That's okay. We'll do that. Boom. So there you go. Boom. We made fecium again. Dihydrogen and carbon make fecium. I love it. So now we have that. We can put all this stuff away. Boom, boom, boom. And now we can make our double cultivation chamber. We have the fecium. Nice. Knocked it out. Good to go. And that is our double cultivation milestone. So let's go in here and accept the reward. That's going to be in phase two. Knock that one out. Beautiful. All that is good. So now we just need to get to the second rendezvous. And also we need to check in. We have... 6,000 nanites. We can actually get another squad mate. Remember, we need three of these guys, so we can get our 3,500. So we spent 835. That's 4,200. And then we need another 7,500 nanites. You need a lot of nanites, guys. That's why I was selling those upgrades that I'm not going to use. But let's go to the second rendezvous. So let's do that real quick. All right. Just landed in the second rendezvous system. But before we go down to the rendezvous, let's talk to the commander because we need to go to the captain's log. So here we go, right here. And again, you need to do this. If you want to walk through it, that's fine. I have a walkthrough if you want to check that out. Right now, I'm just showing you the speed. There we go. And we need to accept that second rendezvous log right here. We need to get that one because it shows you how to make the Exocraft materializer we need to do that because once we do that we can make a submarine and that is one of our objectives as well so let's make the materializer over here so in order to make the materializer we need gold ionized cobalt that's what we got earlier remember and warp cells we need to make warp cells so let's do that real quick so we need to make antimatter three of them antimatter housings three of them and then we can make our warp cells Three of them. Done and done. So let's make the materializer. Done and done. Right there. See? Easy peasy. And now that we have that objective done, we'll go in here and claim the reward because it lets you build a submarine. So now we can build the submarine. We're going to need all that stuff. We need metal plating, crystal sulfide, and salt. We can all get that on the, on the planet, so I'm good to go on that. But you need to make a submarine. That's why I did that before I went down to the planet's surface. Let's go down here. And we have room for our squad. So how you can recruit squad members is go over to a pilot. Anybody who lands who's flying a ship, you can talk to them. And you'll be able to recruit the life form to this squad. He's a C-class, so it's not very good. But hey, it doesn't matter. There's no level requirement it's just that you have to have squad members so we got to do that up oh, this guy better not leave don't leave i need to recruit you i have two slots man you're gonna be part of my squad okay good he's not gonna leave perfect so we'll just need one more after this but we need to get our nanite so we're good to go he's a c class as well man you guys are all c classes in here that's fine all right let's go to the second rendezvous we are knocking this stuff out real easy you guys real easy and again sometimes you need to remark it so if you don't see that golden icon or the crashed icon it'll just say rendezvous two go back in your expedition highlight it right here boom and it will mark it for you so let's go over to that second rendezvous so we broke the atmosphere and this is going to be in the water, so we're going to have to swim to it. But that's okay, because we need to scan animals, and we need to scan rocks anyway on our way. And we need to collect some materials to make a submarine, so all that works in our favor. We're good to go on that. We landed right here. Good to go. A little bit framey, but okay. So let's scan our rocks. Now, when you first pull up your visor, it'll be in sweeper mode. It'll tell you, hey, look. This is where you need to go. We know where we need to go. It's going to be a crash freighter out there. But if you want to just skip that, you can hit left or right on your D-pad and you go back to your regular mode. 
That way you can scan the animals and the rocks around and get that knocked out. There we go. That way, because we need to do that anyway, right? And we're not going after it yet, so we're okay. Scan these guys. Okay. All right, so we know it's out there. Let's go. But we need to get some materials for our submarine. So let's scan these guys. Oh, look at there's some uh, crabs down here. We're scanning some rocks. Scanning some animals. Scanning that guy over there. All right, we need some salt. So right here, these yellow looking uh, like octagons. They will give you salt, but I mean, you can just look at it and it tells you, hey, look, you're, you'll get salt if you if you do this. So the other thing is you need 100 salt. We have 93. We're almost there. 101. We're good enough. All right. So we have all the salt we need. And if you're underwater and you need air, just go over to these white looking light bulb plants, the uh, kelp, and it'll give you your oxygen back. You're good to go on all of that. Now we're looking for... Any kind of a, uh, a green outpost. Look at right here. These things will give you the crystal sulfide you need. Right here. They have the green little crystals on them. These little outcroppings. They're almost like vents. They're heating vents from like the magma underneath the surface. So they explode every once in a while. Not a big deal. Blah, 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 blah. We're going to look for more of them now. That is the symbol you need to look for right there. That's how you know there's one over there. We need a whole bunch of these crystal sulfides, you guys. So... Get as many as you can. I need You need a minimum of four, but I'm going to tell you right now, you're going to need probably seven or eight by the end of the expedition. So you want to get eight. Be safe. Get eight of them. So we're good to go on all of this. Now we should be able to make our submarine now. We need five metal plating. So now let's look at this. Boom. Right there. Five metal plating, four crystal sulfides, and 100 salt. Pop that down there and jump into it. And we got it. Beautiful. We got our submarine done. So we have that milestone finished. Now you'll notice I left the platform back there, you guys. I purposely left it back there because if you pick up the platform, like if you delete the platform, you have to remake it again in order to call in your submarine. Right now, I can call in my submarine no matter what. But if I get rid of the platform, I don't own my submarine anymore. You can only call in your submarine if there's a platform out there. So in order to just make it easier on myself later on, I'm going to leave that platform back there. All right. Oh, red light means that's where the uh, rendezvous is. Oh, right over here. Boom. And as soon as you get close enough, there it is. Got our rendezvous done and done. So now we had, need to head back to our ship. And I mean, do we have any animals actually? Let me look. Do we have any animals we can scan? Again, you can get your animals like that. Get your rocks as well. There you go, because we're going to need these later on anyway. So... Hop out, look around for red dots. No more red dots. Okay, we're good. Not too worried about it. We got plenty of other planets we're going to have to land on anyway, so it's not a rush. I just like to knock it out early when I can. So let's head back to our ship. Now here we are. Get out of here. Scan some more rocks if we can. Did I scan all these? Yep, I got all those rocks already. So, okay. What about up here? I have any rocks I can scan? Up, oh, I got one over there. Scan that uh, plant while we can. There we go. And I did not call in my freighter. You can if you want to. It's a little bit faster. Or if you're like me, you want to get another uh, freighter missions in here. You want frigates to come into play. Oh, not seeing anybody here. Let's head over to the space station. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to force other freighters to come in because you can recruit their frigates but it, they will randomly pop in not when you're pulse driving but if you stop you'll see sometimes they'll come into play oh no of course not okay fine whatever 
they were going to prove me wrong anyway. That's okay. Call in my freighter. We'll just do it that way then. Crystal Sulfide, you're going to need three of them to make some technology later on. So keep those three. Now we're good to go on that. We don't need any more salt. We don't need any more Fecium. We're good on those. Okay, so we are all set here. So what do we need to do? Oh, yeah, we got some. We got a whole bunch of rewards we did not claim yet, yet you guys. So let's do that. Claim that. We also need to claim the um, submarine reward right there. There we go. And the next thing we have to do is we have to construct a teleport chamber. We could totally do that, you guys. Let's go do that. Do you remember, you have to go into your uh, to your building area. Construct a teleport chamber. We're going to need antimatter, amino chamber. That's what we got earlier. And silver. I don't have the antimatter, but we can make that, though. So, boom. One, two, and three. There we are. So, now let's build our teleport chamber right here. Got that one done. Knocked out. So that is phase two done. We just got some more blueprints that we can use later on. But we got phase two done. Remember, this is an optional milestone. I made a video on how you can visit other players' bases, but this is optional. You don't need to do it. You can if you want to, though. It helps you out a ton. It gives you some really cool rewards, but not required. Not required to do that. So now the next thing we have to do is go to the phase three. We got to go to the rendezvous right there. So let's go to phase three or to rendezvous three. But before we get there, again, let's check with our fleet. Let's see if we can do this. Oh, we need a thousand more nanites. Dang it. We need a thousand more nanites. Let's see what we got here. Uh, humble drive module. We don't need that. We can sell that. We can sell that. I'm just moving all the stuff we don't need, and I can sell. Okay. Okay. Yep. This goes to sell. Moving all that out of the way. All right. So we need to go. Oh, well, let's go to the next system. But before you do that, there is a pirate system we need to visit. So when you go along that line, the preferred expedition route, Right before that, there is a system called Yamazavai. Yamazavai, this is a pirate system. You want to go here because we need to, as one of our milestones, we need to attack eight or 16 pirates. And I'll show you how to get that one done. Lickety split, really, really easy. So once we've landed here, let's get out and go to the space station because we need to accept a pirate killing mission. So they will give you a mission to hunt down pirates. You could just do it three times and you'll get all of the pirates you're ever going to need. Let's head on over here. I love the way pirate systems look. Look at that. It looks so freaking cool, man. It's so cool. All right. So we're going to be hunting pirates down. So you might want to buy some upgrades for your ship. I would highly suggest doing that if you want to. So I would always buy photon cannon upgrades. You can get two of them here and then we're going to install it because they don't work unless you install it. <laughs> there you go. So now I have some uh, damage upgrades for my uh, weapons. We're good to go on that. The other thing is we have some stuff we can sell. So come over here to the market. We're going to sell some stuff. Like the waterlogged aquamarine, the salvage modules. There we go. And I think that's it. I think that's it. All right. So those are the things we can sell. So let's get a mission. Now, when you go to the bounty master, he will have a whole bunch of different randomized missions. This one has two hunting pirate missions. And you can force a third one if you want to. So let's start this one. I will show you how to do that a little bit later. But what you need to do is there is a mission for... Hunting down, where are you guys at? Right here. In phase three, it is shoot down 16 pirates. That's what we want to do. And it counts if you take the missions to hunt down pirates. So why not get both? And for the mission, if you complete the mission, you get a reward of money 
which you're going to need later on to buy your frigates anyway. So, of course, you want to do that. So let's do this. Watch this. Now, once you get a shield down, switch over to your rocket. Boom. One shot from the rocket. That's why you want to keep your rockets. I know I give a lot of griff or uh, give a lot of crap to the rocket, but when you don't have anything else, the rockets are good. I always tell you guys, though, get that, uh, that positron ejector. It will destroy anything if you get that positron ejector. But if you can't get one, like in an expedition, all you got to do is use that rocket at the end. It's a finisher right there. So, boom, shield's gone, and then hit him with a rocket. Get this guy. This is number four right here. Remember, we get six per mission. That's number four. Stop here. There we go. They always would. They'll always just appear and uh, respawn right behind you. So just keep that in mind. If you can't see the pirates. They're probably right behind you. And boom. That's all six of them. We're good to go. And you can see there's another freighter that came into play over here. So let's see if we could buy any of their frigates. Remember, we need to get seven of them. And so if they give me a whole bunch, I'll be good to go. All right. So these green icons, recruitable frigate right there. We need seven of these. Let's see if we can get one. So if you get close enough, they'll radio over to you and say, hey, you want to buy my ship? Want to buy my frigate? Yeah, sure. Let me look at your frigate. And this one's worth two million. It's a C class, so they're going to be low level. So two million, decent. You'd really, I mean, for the purposes of the expedition, I try not to spend more than two point five million on a frigate because they can get really, really expensive. I've seen them go as high as like ten and twelve million each. So we don't have that kind of money. You want to try to aim for ones that are less than two and a half million we got one let's see what this one is two million again okay i'll take it that's number two there should be another one around here up oh, there it is right there and kind of fly around a little bit and you'll kind of see oh okay there they are boom and how much are you uh 3.8 oh I'm a little bit hesitant to buy this one. I do have extra money. I'm at 12 million, but I don't want to spend that kind of money. I will do it anyway. But yeah, they will get really expensive. I don't recommend buying a $3.8 million frigate. But if you got to do it, you got to do it. As long as you got the money. Remember, you're going to have to make more money to make up the difference now. I have to get some extra money now because I wasn't expecting to spend almost $4 million on a freaking frigate. Oh, man. That's all right, though. We got a whole bunch of good bones early on, so we should be okay. All right. And then you pick up different items from the crashed, uh, the the pirates that you've taken down. So let's go through here. Look at that. We got some upgrades here. We got some upgrades. Put that away. Shield. There we go. Got a little bit more of a shield. I mean, we have other stuff we could sell, make some money as well. So all that stuff we picked up, we could sell. It makes a little extra money. And we get a reward for completing the mission anyway. So go over here, complete the mission. We're getting some nanites. We're getting some stuff. Then pick up the next one. There you go. And this one will give you a warp hyper core. This is another reason why I'm doing the pirate missions. They will give you a warp hyper core, and you need that later on. So I'm going to use that later on. Another reason why you want to do these missions makes it so much easier you're making money you're getting materials you're gonna need later on anyway so might as well right all right rockets to finish them off there we go and right behind me they respawn right behind me great all right Get this guy. He's number three. Get this one. He's number four. So we have two more guys coming in. Here they come. I'm 
flying right by. There you go. And it's not very difficult to do this. It really isn't that hard. It's just time consuming and you have to find a pirate system in order to get these missions, which is kind of difficult. Unless you know the one that's gone on the way, it's very difficult to do. All right, we did six. So that means that mission is done. And we would go back up to that frigate mission, but or that frigate area, but they're not gonna have any new frigates. So we might as well just leave them alone and just continue on. Look at what we got. We got some uh, pulse spitter modules. We could sell those. Uh, drop pot data, Gek Relic, Corvax casing. We're getting some good money here. Stolen DNA samples. All right. There we go. So now let's sell those black market upgrades. I don't need them. And I can get like a few, a little bit of uh, nanites for that. So it's not a big deal, but it'll help. It'll help. Let's turn in the mission. Now, this is where there is a trick you can force the game to do. So let's accept our rewards for this. We're going to get some money and a warp hypercore. Yes. But now there are no pirate hunting missions, right? All you have to do is accept a mission, start it, and then cancel out of it. And when you do that, it'll give you a brand new mission. <coughs> Excuse me. So it'll give you a brand new mission, and all you have to do is keep starting missions, canceling out of them, and eventually they will give you a pirate hunting mission again. But it might take a little while, so it has to go through a rotation of different missions. And so sometimes it'll take a little bit longer depending on the pirate system you've gone to. So I know that, you know, if you do that, boom, it'll, if you cancel out up here, the new missions appear at the bottom and they will just keep slowly going up. Like it goes from bottom to top. So watch this. This is a raid capital mission right there. I'm about to cancel this one out and it moved up. Raid capital moved up, and we had a seized goods from the traders down here. We don't want that one, though. We want a hunting pirate mission, though. That's what we're looking for. Nothing yet. We're going here. This one should be the last one we need. I've done this a lot, so I kind of know. This one's kind of the one we need. And there you go. Down at the bottom. Hunt and destroy a pirate. There you go. Done. So this is the last one we need, and we'll have that pirate uh, milestone knocked out. And you, we only need four pirates, but they're going to give us six because, again, they give you six pirates to kill to take out for each mission. So we're going to have two extras, but that's okay because I want the rewards from it to make some money. So I will take out all six. I'm not going to ignore the last two. You can if you want to, but I want the money. So I'm going to take them out, and I'm totally missed him with my rocket, dang it. That's all right. We got him. We got him. There we go. Come on. Get these guys. So that was two. That's number three. All right. This is number 16. This is number four right here. 16. This is our 16 kill. So this will, this will give us the milestone. So we're done, right? Oh, it didn't pop up. Okay, that's okay. We'll we'll kill these guys and then we'll get our our thing to pop up. Maybe if you're in combat, it's not gonna pop up because you're in combat. You know, they don't want to distract you with any of that stuff. There we go. We still have one more though. Right over here. Boom. I hate your uh, squad mates because they'll get in your way in the way of my shot done so now the mission is complete mission is complete we can go back and turn it in at the bounty master well, let's go do that come on there it is we're gonna turn it in look at what we got here oh we got a movement op module upgrade i'll take that now let's go and we have a positron ejector i can't do that so we're okay though all right and we also want to accept the reward for that that's where you get all your weapons. You'll also get some fleet beacon stuff in there. You can totally sell that if you want to. I have 8,000 nanites, so now we're good. We have enough nanites. 
I just need to sell some stuff. Oh, War Piper Core. We're going to need this later on. So I'm going to make sure I don't sell that on accident. Because if it's in my inventory, I might accidentally do it. But if it's on my freighter, I know that the, that's the important stuff. I'm not going to get rid of that. So let's do that. Turn in our mission. Get our rewards. There we go. And I mean, you could also do more missions as well and get a lot more money. Because you will get a whole bunch of stuff, you know, rewards for doing it. So you'll get money. I'm just trying to do this as quickly as possible, though. So that's why I'm going to ignore the rest of them. We're good on everything. So now let's head back to our freighter and see if we can uh, go to the third. We're still going to the third rendezvous. But we're getting a whole bunch of stuff knocked out. So we're good to go on that. I get my back. Oh, yeah, we're in my teleporter. Okay, my teleport room now. So the other thing you want to do is you want to unlock your uh, squad members right here. We have the nanites. We have 7,500. Well, we have more than that. We have 10,000. So more than enough to get it. And remember, your squad, you, different pilots will land randomly on your freighter. So if you want to, you can just hang, kind of hang out here. And different pilots will land in here, and you'll be able to recruit them. I see some guys already. Look at that. I think I see a guy over here. Come on, land for me. There you are. And I'll be able to recruit this guy, and he'll be my last squad member I need. Come on. Come out of there. Let's go. Come on. All right. We got you. Got you. He's purple, so hopefully he's an A-class. Let's see. He's an S! Look at that! Outstanding! Confirmed kill. Man, this guy's awesome. And there you go. Recruited three squadron, squad pilots to your squad. There you go. No, no we can uh, unlock that. There you go. And what did we get for that as a reward? Uh, pulse engine module. Sure, we'll use that. Now that we don't need the nanites, I'm just going to throw them in there at random. Because we don't need it, right? Starship shield module. Oh, we need to put them in order, though. So I will say that. I'm going to put them in order. Got it. All right. There we go. And that way, at least it makes sense. Perfect. So let's go to that third rendezvous now. So we're going to have to go through a few systems to get there, but we'll be able to knock it out pretty easy. All right. Here is the third rendezvous system. Again, the systems are going to be marked with a golden diamond. That's why you want to go along that uh, that system route. I mean, your galaxy map, it'll show you a green line. It'll say expedition route. Just follow that line and you'll get to the different rendezvous. And again, because we are going to the third rendezvous, talk to the uh, commander and he will give you the captain's log for this system. Every rendezvous system has a log other than the first one. There we go, and we'll be able to just pop down in there. Let's see it. Get our reward. And let's go down in there and grab our rendezvous. And again, make sure it's highlighted. There you go. Now this one should be pretty easy to get to. The third rendezvous is in the water, just like all the other ones, but it also is right next to land. So, should be easy enough. Let me stop and see if any frigates want to... Nope, no frigates going to show up? Come on. Oh, there they are. You can hear them. And again, if you just randomly stop, you, you might get frigates, a big freighter group, to come in. And you can buy one or a few. Oh, man, there's only one in this group? Come on. Usually you'll get more, but every once in a while you'll only get one. Sometimes there won't be any. There will be zero frigates for sale. And that sucks. This one is 2.2. I'll take it. I'll take it. All right. So that was just... There's only one in that, that group. That's fine. Let's go to the rendezvous now. There we go. Here is the, uh, the rendezvous number three. We're going to land right here. And yeah, it's literally right there in the water, like right over the edge. You just have to get close enough to it under the water in order to get it. So let's go down in here. And again, we're looking for animals and we're looking for uh, freaking rocks as well. So we get that animal out there. 
Got the rendezvous number three done. Give me these animals. Beautiful. Give me the rocks as well. Give me that one. And remember, and again, you're going to need crystal sulfide later on. If you haven't gotten three, if you don't have three in your inventory, you're going to need at least three. So oh, we got our rocks. So we got rendezvous number three. Get that one done. Oh, and we just went down underground, underwater. All right. We got that one done. And then we also got our prospector for the minerals. Got that one done. So that should have given us another scanner module. So now... Not only are we getting a bonus for our minerals and our, our animals, or not animals, plants and, and rocks, we're also getting flora and mineral as well. So we got a double, double for our animal or our rocks and our uh, our plants. Holy cow. Let's see. We can scan that guy out there. There's no bonus for our animals, though. That's why it's still at 1,000. But watch this. This plant is going to give me a ton of money. Watch this. It was at 17. Now it's at 37. Holy crap. 37,000 bucks for scanning that rock for that uh, plant as well. Beautiful. I love it. Let's get up here. Oh, I'm choking. I ran out of oxygen. Oh, God. And there should be some animals up here as well. I also need to get some uh, minerals. So let's get this one. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, we already have our minerals. Never mind. I'm, I'm so used to doing it at all times. I'm always trying to get more rocks and stuff. But we should have some animals up here somewhere. Look at this random uh, trader just landed over here. I like it. Look at him. A land Freaking landed pilot right here. Let's see. What do you got for me, buddy? What do you got? He sells a whole bunch of upgrades. And if you have nanites, you can buy them. Oh, I have nanites. I have a ton of nanites. All right. Let's do a life support. Hazardous upgrade. Yes. Movement upgrade. Yes. Shield modules. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. See, we got a whole bunch of those now. Now we got all this good stuff here. Oh, we have more than three of the uh, jetpack upgrades. So we're going to have to move one of these back over to here. We have our shields. There we go. Let's move this down over here. Over here. Gonna put all our jetpacks together. Our shields together. There we are. And then life supports. There we go. Oh, I could sell him some stuff. Oh, no. He's gone. We have any more animals up here? Come on. Animals usually appear. There's one. That's what I was looking for. Gotta get these animals to show up for me. That's all right. We'll, we'll move on. Let's go to the next one. We need to get two. What are we doing next? We have all this stuff done. We need to construct a stellar extractor room. We need to go back up into our frigate or freighter and get that done. Let's stop here. Oh, wait a minute. There's a, a, a big frigate patch over here. Maybe they have some frigates. Come on. They do. They got a couple of frigates. And again, you can just stop at any system and do this. They will just randomly appear. And sometimes it's one. 1.5 million, I'll take it. Sometimes there's like a group. I've seen as much as like five different frigates for sale in the same group. That was crazy. That was crazy. But usually you'll get like two or three. Sometimes you'll get one. Sometimes you'll get five. Let's see. Come on. Uh, 1.6, I'll take them. Oh my god, I got a whole bunch of them. Look at this, they're all just showing up now. What is going on here? Why? Okay, well, there's another one over here. Oh, dang it. Don't go to the don't go to the menu. Get out of that. I need to answer his call. That way I can buy him. Come on, do it. And oh, this one's nine million. Are you joking? It, you know why? Because it's an S-class. Look at that. S-class frigate for nine million bucks. I can't afford you. Sorry, buddy. I wish I could, but there's no way. No way I could afford you. I don't even have enough right now, let alone what I'd normally do then anyway. All right. So now we need to get over to our, our frigate or our freighter, I should say, and start building some stuff. So let's do that real quick. 
We need to make a stellar extractor. Got to get some other stuff going on here. Got all these randomized upgrades <laughs> just hanging out. There we go. So let's go up here and make our stellar extractor. Let's do this. Da, da, da. Oh, my brain didn't work there for a second. We have everything. We have our silver, gold, and magnetized ferrite. Again, we got magnetized ferrite earlier. That's why we got a whole bunch of it. And you're going to need it later on. Got that. Good to go. Let's accept that reward. And we got a scanner room plan. See, so we get the plans for our next thing. So now we need to make a scanner room, which is going to be over here. We need a scanner room. So we need silver, gold, and an ion battery. We got that. That's easy enough. Make our scanner room. There we go. We got that milestone knocked out. We are clearing them all out, you guys. Clearing them all out. There we go. New building part learned. Done, done, done. And now we need to make a trade, a galactic trade room. So let's do that. This is in our freighter technology. We need two microprocessors. Now, don't worry. It's easy enough to make. So all you need to, need to do for a microprocessor is make two nanotubes and each microprocessor needs chromatic metal and one nanotube so we have two now we're good to go so all you have to do is make a nanotube and you're good galactic trade room beautiful i like it i like it and let's see if i could sell some stuff here let's sell salvage trigger module all right salvage data we don't need that I think we're all good on everything else. Yep, we're all good on everything else. We don't need to sell anything else. We can get that one. Get all our rewards for that. All our blueprints. So what else do we need? Well, we need to complete fleet expedition. So guys, this is the hard one. This is the one that's going to take forever. It has a timer on it. Oh, I have purple glowing eyes. Holy cow. So what you want to do is you want to make a fleet command room. Let's do that real quick right here. So now that we made a fleet command room, we are good to go. We have this. It's set up. It's good to go. One frigate available. Blueprints. Download the fuel. So that'll give you your fuel. So we got some fuel out of that. Let me see. So we got a little bit of fuel. We need to make some more, though. So let's make another dihydrogen and tritium. There we go. 200 tons. Beautiful. So now, in order to send your your frigates out on missions to complete this, you need to talk to this guy over here. Not that guy. This guy right here, the navigator. The navigator will send you out on missions. But the one thing is, you get five missions per day. So every 24 hours, it will uh, re calculate new routes. Right at the top of the screen, it says the navigator calculates new routes every day. So once every 24 hours, it will change. But you need to do eight of them. That means you have to do all five of these and then come back tomorrow and do another three. Now, let me show you how easy this is going to be for you. Let's send out our frigate on that one. So let's just assign one. There we go. He's, he's good. We're going to launch. So now he's on a mission, right? Well, we still have our zero. We have zero out of eight because it needs to complete, right? You need to complete a mission. So head over here to your command station and all you have to do, all you have to do is abort the expedition. You have to just cancel out and then talk to the uh, captain. After you cancel it out, you talk to him, you debrief him. He didn't go anywhere, so it didn't do anything. And now we are at one out of eight. So it, c it counts a uh, mission as completed as long as your, sh your frigate comes back. So you, all you have to do is send it out and then cancel the mission and bring them back, and it counts as done. The problem is, look at that. Now I have that one finished. It's good to go. Need to go to the next one. Now, you have to do this for all of your mission. Oh, you don't have to. You can just wait for the timer if you want to. But if you're just trying to get it done as fast as possible, this is what you got to do. You have to finish this out. Boom. Debrief. He didn't go anywhere, so we're done. There we go. And just do this, and you only get five per day. It sucks. 
It's a weird countdown timer, so you're going to have to come back today. Now, I will tell you right now, the clocks reset. Every day in No Man's Sky resets at 6 p.m. Eastern American Time. 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You, I'm not going to be able to tell you guys all of your different time zones. you got to figure it out on your own. But 6 p.m. Eastern Standard American United States time, it resets. And so technically, if I waited another four hours, I would be able to just do it. So take that information with a grain of salt. Whatever, you, whatever you're thinking, do, you do whatever you want. But you have to wait for the next day. You have to wait. You have there's a 24 hour time limit on refreshing missions, so it's a pain in the butt. But you got to do it. Wait till 6 p.m. Eastern time, and it'll, it'll reset at that point, and you'll be able to just do it. We almost got it there. And again, look at that. We have three out of eight missions done. We're almost halfway there, even though we haven't really done anything. We've only spent like five minutes. Oh, yeah. I forgot to debrief the captain. Duh. Got to debrief him first. I'm so excited that I didn't do it right. Debrief. Yeah, I know you didn't go anywhere. It's tedious. I know. But on the flip side, if you do it legit, if you just send them out and wait for the timer to end, it will give you some items. You get some really good items. Your ships will bring back items for you. And you can make a ton of money that way. But you have to wait for that timer. Like, literally. Let me show you. Some of these missions are super long. Oh, wait. I can't do it right now. Some of these missions are 10, 15 hours long. They take you longer than 24 hours to do. And so you're like, what the crap? So, depending on which missions you want to do, that's what you got to do. Debrief. Exit. So now we're at 5 out of 8. So we're almost there. But because we can't finish this all today, we're going to have to go to the next rendezvous and get that one done. But again, let me show you. Let me show you these missions. These are crazy. So the ones I got today were a 21 hours. I'd have to wait 21 hours in real lifetime. 21 hours, 48 minutes. So I have to wait. Literally, I could turn off my console and go away for 21 hours and 48 minutes. And then I'd be able to claim that mission. They'd come back. Now, they will bring back some awesome stuff. So don't get me wrong. The longer the mission, the better the stuff they'll bring back. But you got to wait for it. And it's like, oh, God, come on. <laughs> so let's go to the fourth rendezvous. So let's go do that real quick. There it is. There's the fourth rendezvous system. And literally, all I'm doing is warping from system to system to system to system in order to get to the different rendezvous points. So not a big deal, kind of boring. That's why I kind of cut those things out. And we got to the fourth rendezvous. So let's talk to the commander, get our log out of him. There it is. And done. No going back. So let's accept our reward for that. Underwater oxygen. There you go. We got some underwater upgrades. Oh, wait, they're going to be in here. Yep. Let's pop that in there. You don't need two. You can. You only really need one. So you can get rid of the other one. I just destroy it. You can sell it for nanites. Whatever you need to do. I just get rid of it because I'm just like, screw that. All right. Let's go to this fourth rendezvous. This one's kind of a pain in the butt because it's out in the middle of the water and you got to like swim out forever to get to it. Let's see. Maybe we can get a... Uh, oh, wait a minute. When you see this emergency uh, broadcast... Accept it because you cannot get any frigates if your emergency uh, communication is busy. So if you're busy getting a call from a settlement, you cannot get any uh, frigates because your your phone lines, your basically your phone lines are are busy, and so you won't be able to get a frigate until you answer that call. So that's why you want to just take it, get it rid of it, and let's see if we can get another frigate to show up here. Yeah, see, randomly they'll show up, but I guess they're not showing up here. That's all right. We'll get it when it's closer to the planet. Let me move some stuff around. Oh, like that. We don't need that here. Um, yeah, we're good on all the stuff. Let's make some more fuel for my uh, my guy here. Oh yeah, we're almost out. 
So we definitely needed more of it. All right, let's try here. Uh, any uh, frigates want to show up? No, nothing. Nothing. All right, I guess we're going to the actual uh, rendezvous. Dang it. All right, broke the atmosphere. We're looking for our freighter that has crashed underwater. So that is where it is. But the problem is you can't, you, there's no land nearby to land on. You have to have something that's not underwater at all. So you got to land, you got to land your ship way over here. Dang it. That's okay though. That's okay. We have our submarine and we'll be able to just call that guy in. And speaking of that, how many more animals do we need? We need four more, excuse me, four more creatures. We got that. That's easy enough. So let's call in our, uh, our submarine. There we go. Now we know that the, uh, the freighter is way out here. So let's go to the freighter. We're getting close, getting close. Then I'll be able to get out and uh, scan some animals and get back in my, there we go. There we go. And we have any animals around? I know I saw animals. They were really, they were literally just running around. There you go. Give me those animals. We need four of them. And another one out there. One out there. Well, we just need one more animal. One more animal. Of course, there's no animals out here. Okay, that's fine. Now we go back to our freaking uh, ship. Such a pain, but hey, you know what? It is what it is. Let's head back a minute and a half. Oh God, okay. There we go. And then let's see if there's any animals flying around that I can get. None. That's not a big deal. That's fine. Not a big deal. I could get an animal at the next rendezvous because we're moving on to the fifth rendezvous, the last rendezvous, which is awesome. So we got all of phase four completed. Beautiful. So now we're on to phase five. Loving it. Loving it, guys. We're almost done. We are so freaking close to done. It's crazy crazy how fast you could do it when you have everything and you know what to do to get it all done it goes by super quick you guys it, seriously it does it goes by super duper quick so let me grab anything i need out of here we're gonna organize it and sell it dun 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 we need to get some more um ferrite dust so let's go to our galactic market we need to we need to sell some stuff and make some money uh, selling it. We also uh, we have six million, so we're good. Oh, that's not where it is. There you are, green. Got to go after the green. Oh, where did I put my market at? That's the question. I forget every time because I don't have an organized way to do it because I'm dumb. All right, where is my market? There you are. So then we're gonna sell salvage data. Multi-tool, cargo, glass. I think that's it. Yep, that's it. Then we're going to buy all of their ferrite dust. There we go. All their oxygen. There you go. So let's make some. We need to make some warp housing. There we go. Warp cells. There we go. So now we can go. I had to make sure I had enough fuel in my warp drive in order to get to the fifth rendezvous. So let's get to that fifth rendezvous. Here we go. Fifth rendezvous. Last one. We are almost done. We do need to scan one more animal. We also need to get... Oh, I don't even know how many... How many frigates do we need to get? Oh, God. I don't even know. We need to get more frigates, though. I'm guessing two. Maybe less than that, though. But as always, fifth rendezvous means we need to talk to the commander and get the log. Done and done. Beautiful. Got that. And this is an important one because you get the home world repeater. You need that. 
So now we have the home world repeater. Where are you? There you are. We have our, our ferrite dust knocked out. Um, we got our another uh, upgrade. But where is the most important thing? The most important thing is we need one more frigate for our fleet. One more creature. Man, we are so good to go. All right. One more frigate. One more animal. So I could spend all my money on one more frigate. I have seven million. So no matter what the cost is, as long as I'm able to afford it, I will buy whatever frigate they give me. So let's head towards that rendezvous. Come on. Wait, wait, wait. We got, we got, look at, we don't even need to. They are instantly just coming in right now. Please be less than seven million, less than seven million. <laughs> If all these guys are like $10 million fri uh, frigates, I swear, I will go crazy. I don't think they will be, though. But, you know. 1.8. I'll take you. Done. Sold. Done. So we got that one knocked out real quick. Easy enough. So now what we need to do is we need to head towards the uh, the rendezvous down here. But we also need to activate our home world repeater. This is an item you get for doing the fifth rendezvous log. So if you, act, you activate it, and when you're pulse driving, you have to be pulse driving because you'll get a notification coming up soon. There it is. And you'll see this, the life raft, come into view. This is part of the storyline. I'm going to let you guys do it on your own or watch my guide if you want. Either way, I'm going to skip through a lot of this right now. Because when you need, once you've talked to them and find out the story, you get the sal you get the plans for the Singularity Engine. And remember, we got our Crystal Soul Fight earlier on. We got our Ionized Cobalt earlier on. And our War Piper Core. So we can make that right now. So let's accept the reward. And if we go to our freighter, I like to put in my technology. You can put it wherever you want. We have to make our Singularity Engine again. War Piper Core, Crystal Sulfide, and Ionized Cobalt. Make all of that. And now we're good on that. So now all we have to do is land on this planet, get our fifth rendezvous, scan one animal, and we are done, you guys. We are done almost. Almost. We're almost at the finish line. Almost. I mean, we have all this stuff. You don't need it. I mean, if you want to keep it, great. I'm going to get rid of it just because this is going to be a burning uh, save. I'm not going to keep the save. I'm going to burn this one once I'm done anyway. And I don't even know why I'm even worried about space because, I'm again, I'm not going to do anything with this after I'm done. So, but, you know, you can save those. You keep it. You don't need this repeater anymore. We've already used it once. It's done. You don't need it anymore. If you're like me, you like to keep you, these like as trophies, go ahead and do that. I always keep my special items. It's weird, I know. It's not useful anymore. Like, you can't use it, but I like keeping it like as a memento. So that's why I don't get rid of them. I just keep it and call it good. It'll be like a historical uh, item that no one else can get. If you've never done the expedition, you'll never get it. Where is my guy. Is it going to be on the other side? Probably. Yep, there it is, right there. And they, everyone has been telling me you can land on this. Let's see. There you go. You can, as long as it's outside of the water. It has to be outside of the water. Let's go down here. Get our rendezvous. Done and done. And then scan an animal. Done and done. Easy peasy, guys, right? We got all of it knocked out. Super easy. Way easy. It's not that difficult. The expedition is so much fun to do. Now, we're not totally finished yet. We have to use the Singularity Engine in our freighter. So let's do that real quick. And again, let me grab the uh, rewards for doing all of that. And then grab and get in here. All the way. Got to land on our uh, frigate. Or freighter. I always confuse. I conflate the two words. Frigate and freighter. I don't know why. 
That is what I do. I just, you know, my brain doesn't work very well, you guys. Sorry. Brain doesn't work very well. Get this done. Now we have to go up here. And in order to use the Singularity Engine, you have to talk to either the commander of your freighter. So let's go over here. Talk to the commander. And it'll, there'll be an option to use the Engage the Singularity Engine. This is so cool. It is basically like going through a black hole with your freighter. This is the same animation as a black hole. It is so freaking awesome. You end up somewhere random, way, way far away. So freaking cool. So we've done it. We've completed the expedition. Let's go down and we're gonna we're gonna go through again like I always do with my speed runs. I will show you that everything is done except for the one, but again, we have to log in tomorrow in order, in order to really, truly finish it. But there you go. Travel through a wormhole. So we got that one done. So we got a whole bunch of good stuff for the rewards on that. Now, we got our phase five reward as well. Done and done. Now, let's go in here again. We did phase one completely. Phase two, everything is done except for the optional milestone. Again, there's a video down in the description to show you how to visit a friend's uh, freighter, but you can do that one. It's optional, you don't need to do that one. Then we also have the uh, Called by the Stars, the free, uh, frigate missions, the fleet missions. We are going to be able to do that tomorrow. At, you know, Again, you have to load up every 24 hours. They refresh those missions. You can do that. Phase th uh, 4 done and Phase 5 done. All of it's done except for that one mission. And we can do that tomorrow. Log in for five minutes and you'll be able to do it. Let's see how long it took me. Let's see how long it took me to finish this thing. It took me an hour and a half, you guys. Look at that. We can get the entire expedition done in an hour and a half. Less than two hours, hour and 30 minutes. You can get the expedition done. And that's not even doing a speed run. That's just normal gameplay. If you know what you're doing, you can get this thing done in less than two hours. I love it, you guys. Hopefully, you guys love it, too. If you did, hit that like button for me. Uh, hopefully, you guys did. And I will see you guys in the next video.